Another big topic of conversation on Wall Street today, insider trading. An exhaustive new study concludes a quarter of all public company deals involve some type of insider trading. That's one in four. The report, conducted by professors from New York University and McGill University, examined transactions going back to 1996. Andrew Ross Sorkin wrote about it in today's New York Times, and he joins us now from New York. So, Andrew, I guess this confirms what many of us always suspected, right. that insider trading is a lot more common than most people were led to believe. So I guess the question is, if it's this per per pervasive, why is it that regulators and the Securities and Exchange Commission just aren't more on top of this? Well, th that, that is the question, and I, you're, you're absolutely right. We knew, or at least we thought instinctively, that there was a lot of insider trading going on. We have seen the Oliver Stone movies. However, I don't think we appreciated that it was to this degree. 25% of all publicly traded transactions, and I've covered mergers and acquisitions for the, more than the past decade. I don't think I've ever seen a study that started in 1996 and got to 2012. And it, it, it was remarkable, uh, in part, by the way, they say statistically that the chance for randomness, the, the chance that the stock moved randomly, three in one trillion. It, your, your odds would have been better at the lottery. <laughs> so the, the, the question then becomes, as you said, why hasn't the SEC been able to pursue these cases? And I think the answer is funding. Uh, it's funding, it's manpower, it's resources. And the study does a very good job of looking at the math that the professors did and then comparing it to what the SEC did. The SEC only went uh, went after about 4 percent, maybe 5 percent of the nearly 2,000 deals uh, that, they, that they looked at. So it, it does raise that question. By the way, it's one thing to see the abnormal trading. It's another thing to then actually be able to pursue it. And in a resource-constrained uh, environment, you're seeing the SEC go after big deals, big names, big headlines as a deterrent. But uh, it may be that you need to go farther down the chain. Let me make sure I'm understanding what you just said, Andrew. They went after 4 or 5 percent of the total deals or 4 or 5 percent uh, of the 25 percent in which insider trading there, had been suspected? There were, my understanding is that there was litigation of some sort uh, involving, I think, uh, between about 4 and 5 percent of the total deal volume uh, that they looked at. But that is not 25 percent. No, that's, so a, that's, there's, that's there's one fifth a 20, of 25 percent. There's still a 20, there's still a 20 percent spread. And, so, and then the question becomes, from a policy perspective, how do you approach the, the smaller fry, uh, if you will? Uh, you, do you take a sort of uh, Mayor Rudy Giuliani approach, which was, you know, he, he went after the squeegee men on the street right. and said, if we do all the small stuff, it'll bubble up. Uh, they've taken uh, the top-down approach. Where was the trading, uh, the insider trading taking place? Options or the stocks themselves? So that's the other fascinating part about this study. We often look at stock before a transaction. It's not the stocks where the real action is taking place. It's in the options. Mm -hmm. it, it's people making out of the money, uh, taking right. out of the money options and puts uh, ahead of the transaction where they can then leverage their bet. And frankly, the SEC isn't as focused on that as then they mm -hmm. are at, on stocks. And and also not focused on transactions that don't get completed. So oddly enough, there are lots of deals that get announced right. and don't get completed. If they don't get completed, a 22 percent chance, uh, 22, 22 times less chance that the SEC will go after them. Andrew, we really run out of time, but real quickly, is there a silver lining here? Can we expect some changes? I quickly. think the silver lining is that the SEC is taking this much more seriously than they did during the period of the study, frankly. They've recently gotten involved with Palantir Technologies, which has helped the U.S. government okay. go after terrorists and others uh, and really crunch big data numbers, and they might be able to do it uh, this way. Really interesting topic. Thanks so much. Andrew Thank Ross Sorkin.